Okay, welcome. It is two pals. Two pals on the same video. It's a late night special. I want to thank all my old supporters. I appreciate you. I never take you for granted. I want to thank everyone that leaves a comment because sometimes I get a little, you know, I need some encouragement and support. And I don't want to give up. And you give me these comments and it'll be right on time. And I want to thank all my new subscribers. Welcome. So now, and I appreciate you. I appreciate your support. Now let's look at, I, I titled it Fantasia. She has this song, um, Free Yourself. So we only have two pals. So if this man or woman don't want you, I know you want to know, do they want you? Do they love you? What What's going on? Um, we're going to see if we can pick it up. This is a general reading. This is a highly sensitive topic, especially if you're in love with this woman or a man. And only take about 10% and say this shit don't belong to you because a person has free will. They can be moody. They can have circumstances in their life. We're going to see what the cards pick up. All right, for those who chose power one, let's get started. If you don't want me, then don't talk to me. Go ahead and free yourself. I love that song. For people who chose power one, does this man or woman want them? That's all we want to know. Does this man or woman want them? I'm going to take my sabbatical. I think I had two more came from the ancients. I wrote them all down. I don't know if I'm going to get to them. Does this man or woman want them? This, this is all we ask. Them. Yes or no? This is man or woman want people who chose power. Oh, it could be your ex-husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, significant other, partner, crush, somebody you met online, somebody you're no contact with, somebody you're not really even speaking to, you're not getting along, side piece, mistress, Mr. 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 Tori, side, I don't care, situation, whoever's in your heart, whoever you're asking about, do they want you? So it could be somebody new, it could be somebody old, it could just be asking, does this person want them? Well, they, they, they find you very attractive. Um, King of Wands. I just did a reading about um, what is it? Um, what what is? Why can't you get over this person? It could be. It could be they want to. You know, they could want to tame you. They could want to catch you. They could want to get you. They could want to feel like you're very, very attractive men and women. You you, you know, um, they you know. I see a lot of lust. I see a lot of temptation. I see a lot of attractiveness. I see a lot of sex appeal. You're very ambitious type men and women. You're the good catch. You, you know, you're the whole package. I mean, you know, I, I'm in love with Idris Alba. It, it would be an Idris Alba to me. I mean, like, well, well, come on, yeah, why not? Whoever your um, celebrity is or whoever you think is nice looking, just use that energy. That's how they feel. But then I also see a, a, a lizard there. So they may feel like there's competition or you're hard to get or you're hard to get get still or maybe even get a date or get a phone call or get a, you know consistency from me like a phone call a text a date um maybe you've already had sex with this man or woman i feel like you turned them out um so um um maybe you haven't maybe they dream about it maybe they fantasize about it fantasize about it. they think you're the goat they think you're the lion you know what i'm saying you got this um animal ma magnetism about you as men and women if i'm gassing you up this is how this man or woman feels so if you don't um love me um you know just free yourself they definitely have a physical attraction so if you haven't slept with this man or woman go and give him some because <laughs> they want to see it they want to sample them cookies girl they want to sample that eggplant yeah put some cheese and shit on it you know what i mean let <laughs> me stop playing with y'all but at the end of the day yeah i do think there's a definitely a physical attraction there so if you don't want me um don't talk to me y'all could be not talking y'all could be in no contact or very limited um but there's definitely a sexual a physical attraction like you're what they want as a man or woman all right if you don't want me then don't talk to me go ahead and free yourself does this man or woman love this person do they want this person what's going on people need to check they definitely find you um, fine as men and women. Beauty's an eye beholder. You can look like Cyclops shit. But they don't care. Okay. Does, it, does this man or woman want them? I think you put them in a... I think they... I think they strongly desire you. You're definitely a desire, a fantasy, um, you know, or something like that. Um, but, but at the same time, you, you got them in competition. Um, this man feels like he has to compete for her or compete for him. This woman feels like they have to compete for her or compete for you. Um, maybe they feel like you don't see them. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of investment. But then you see these, these rons, rod, wands, and stars. Right, some people say wands, rods, stats, whatever. I just say all three. You see them, but it's button up in there, right? The little um, 
flowers or you know whatever so they definitely have a sexual attraction so if you gave them some they want more if they could tame the beast in the um in you as a man or woman maybe you're players or whoremongers or very attractive have you done that just an ambitious man or woman you're hard to obtain um you know what i'm saying and and, and, and they and they realize that i don't i don't see them back in i, I don't see them back and out they might have took a stand because he looked like he about to slip off this um this um thing right here um but he's but he's firmly planted so i feel like if it's competition bringing on i don't feel like they want to compete and then his his face looks sad oh my god i'm about to make up a story <laughs> because that's how i feel it's like i love her they just want hit her for so many reasons or for, for so many different reasons but i love her i love her i don't have the money i might not have the looks i might not have the body you know i might not um this person might not see me that way but i love her or i love him and i feel like that's that energy it's intuitive because i've never really paid attention to his face and he was like I came to the party late, but I'm going to see if I can, um, or, or to the castle late, I'm going to put my stick in the ground to fight for the princess or fight for the prince. You get what I'm saying? It's like that type of energy. No, I'm not from royalty. No, I might not have the money. Maybe I'm not their preference, your preference. Um, you know, maybe this person don't look at me, don't only see me as a crush or, you know, somebody online that they'll never meet. Maybe I'll always be a side piece. Maybe they look at me as always a groom and a bride, never a bridesmaid. Maybe they feel like, um, you know, I have kids or, you know, I've been married before, or maybe they might feel like I'm a little difficult or they, they're hard to understand me and they don't, she don't, and he don't know how to communicate with me. They don't know my love language. Maybe they don't know how much I really love them or care about them. Cause this is what it's saying. Look at that. Don't he look like, but I'm going to, I'm going to try. I want to put my, my, um, rod in the ground. But actually, actually, if we look at this, it's not in the ground. He wants to, he's contemplating, he's thinking about it, or she, you have to use the gender, but he actually didn't do it. So that tells me this is very difficult for this person. They could be a person um, very attractive. They could have their own type of men and women that like them. They could have been married, divorced. Y'all could be different ages, different religions. It, it just tells me a lot. It's like a hesitation. You could be in no contact. You could not be getting along. You could really get along and they don't want to confess, but he's there to, to fight for this prince or um princess my story right which is you but he hasn't actually put it in the ground but the thought is there and he's there he's there he's there he's arrived but so it could be in limbo the the sexual appeal the physical appeal they like that um if you don't want me to free yourself they don't want to free yourself from that because they like that they something about you you have that for them um um so this is all on one um this power one do they, if you don't want me to talk, don't talk to me. I feel like y'all, some of y'all in no contact, or maybe a lot of y'all. I feel like you're you're really hard to, to get, um, Pal One. Um, well, how do they feel? Do they um, want to free themselves from this person? It looks like they want to fight, but it, they could be hesitant because maybe, because he got his back turned toward him. Or her, right? You know what I'm saying? Because y'all could be in no contact. You could be a very difficult man or woman to get. You know what I mean? Could You could be motivated by sex, money, opportune, uh, being opportunist. Um, you know what I mean? Ambition. So ambitious that you don't really have time. You Maybe you have already have a husband or wife or, you know, side pieces or prospects and stuff like that. And you're not really looking at this person and taking this person seriously. You could be very hard to obtain. I don't know. Maybe this person tried. Because I see a lizard. Maybe this person tried. Maybe this is this person's litter, lizard. And then when I see a lizard, lizards are fun though. They crawl up your legs. Girls in California used to like them crawl up their legs because they tickled. I, I, I wasn't that, that type of girl. I mean, I was raised in California. But at the end of the day, uh, maybe maybe you didn't like the way this person gifted you with a lizard. Meaning, it, it, sim, symbolism, maybe y'all had a false start. Maybe it started off good and then something happened and now you don't even want to look at this man or woman. I don't know. I feel bad for this man. Well, let, me, let me let me get a little bit more for y'all, Pile 1, if I go to Pile 2. Let me see. Yes. See? This is what I mean. Not yes. It's, it's, there's a lot of rods, wands, and staffs, so that's desire. That's, you know, lust. That's temptation. That's, you know, sex. That's passion. They have all that for you. Um, but, 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 look. 
I think sometimes they feel very optimistic, but then sometimes they don't. This talks about outside influences. This talks about outside influences and competition. So it, it, you're, you're probably hard to obtain. You're that prize. If he can win this prince or princess, they feel like they won something, but there's so many obstacles, and sometimes they feel very optimistic, but sometimes they feel very pessimistic, and it plays in their head. So if, if, if this is the type of man or woman going, eh, I don't know, um, you know, I tried, um, you know, what did I do? I didn't have a lot, and so I brought my lizard with me, and then the king got mad. <laughs> I'm just making it up. Meaning, like, we didn't have a great conversation. When we went out to dinner, it didn't go well. The sex was, you know, okay. Um, I didn't understand the text. This person said something to me, and they got out of pocket. I got out of pocket. Or I thought they wanted chicken, and here they was allergic to peanuts. I'm just <laughs> making the shit up. Like, shit just went um, um, left. You know, I tr thought, you know, I could pull his leg up. The next thing you know, I pulled it out of pocket. Like, I just feel like this person didn't get, this person had a false start with you and it, it plays in their mind and this is a mind card and so sometimes they feel a little optimistic and maybe they see you out or you know at work this would be co-worker gym you know out of the um, clubs or you know friends golfs or at church the moss or you know at the grocery store the corner store wherever you see people you know what i'm saying um you know out at the park or something like that and they really was very 11 11 on the clock that's, that's really good that's a 10 point um number um maybe they thought thought you know oh i, I got I can finally see her i can finally talk to her or, or you know or this dinner is going to go great and next thing you know it goes left and so it, it they remember that and they revisit that i, I can't give y'all what y'all want to hear i can only be a channeler intuitive and and, and then with the cards lined up right but i feel like they do feel optimistic and they want some battles and stuff but then you see he got that one back here in the blue, it's like a heavy struggle. Like, oh, God, does it have to be so difficult? Does love have to be so difficult? <sighs> does this person want you? Love you, want you. Free yourself. They could feel like you have a lot of choices. They could feel like you have a lot of choices. You know, there's just too many people. It's too much competition. It's too much chaos. It's too much confusion. But then they might be smart and go, well, those are romantic illusions. Like he's saying, this ain't me. She's saying, this ain't this ain't her. I'm different. You know, I might have came to the party late. But, you know, my estimated arrival time is right on time. You know, I came when it was time for me to come. You know, but then they might be checking you out and, you know, um, and you're looking at everybody but them or checking out everything but them. Or then maybe they feel like you do see them. Maybe they feel invisible. I remember I went to this event and this um, person walked right past me, didn't even see me. And I watched this person. I had to go up to this person. I was like, dang. You know what I mean? And the per people that this person was talking to, you know, I guess I'm considered light skin. I don't know, whatever. You know, would no, no, nothing that I would have thought. You know what I mean? I watched this person talk to everybody. I was like, dog, walk right past me, didn't see me. It made me feel some kind of way. Um, this is not here. This is somewhere else. And I was like, dog, you know, this person didn't even see me. So you could feel invisible to this person. You know, you could be not feel this, this man or woman could feel like you. Maybe you're not their type. Right. You know what I mean? I'm saying light skin because this person was, you know, with, you know, dark skin and maybe, um, you know, some of the women didn't look. You know, the way I would have thought they look, but that's that's what this person want. I feel like this is what this person goes through. Like they might feel like you're not they're not what they you want. So, you know, and you have a lot of choices. But they also know a lot of them is illusions, right? They're, it's not real. It's a fantasy because, you know, having a real love with intimacy is very rare. And that's what they feel like they bring, but then they feel like they fucked up. I, I don't know. Y'all gonna let me know. Y'all not gonna let me know that. Does this person want you? They, 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 they would love they would love to grow with you and have the stability and benefit from you and you benefit from them and the family and the friends and build together and create a legacy and work together and work as a team and stuff. It's the money. Yeah. Yeah. I don't see any love yet. Um, I see um, lust. I see temptation. I see, um, 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 you know, animalistic um, sexual attractions. I see um, competition. Um, so it's like you see all this money. It's like this man or woman, you are the prize. Now, I don't know what this man or woman have. They could be very much surprised and me like, I want them to benefit from this, you know, because I got a legacy. I got, you know, I got a little something too, but I think you are bigger than them in regards to, um, in, in, in regards to symbolism, like you would be a really great match for them. Not that you might have more money or whatever, none of that. It's just that you're harder to get. And I think this man or woman is just more simple. And I think you're more difficult. I, I don't know what the 
the hell I'm saying. And people know how that is. Like, you could like a man or a woman and you think that, you know, they, they will like you. And, you know, you find out, you know, he, he or she likes, you know, maybe lighter or they like white or they like Hispanic or they like, you know, um, a certain person, you know, natural hair, weave, you know, makeup. Or they want a certain body type or they want a certain preference. And, you know, and you feel like, you know, they wouldn't be interested in me. So I and I'm saying that and I, I'm feeling guilty to say that. So I do feel like you and this person have some differences. Y'all, maybe y'all don't look the same or share the same beliefs or something like that. There's something that makes this person hesitant and he looks like he's looking at like the money and maybe this person is spiritual but then there's some snakes there's some outside people who might not even want this to happen i think this we, we're still on this man or woman this person that you're asking about do they want you they're still considering all that like it's not easy you're not easy you're not attainable and it's not attainable where oh um Oh, oh my God, you get Beyonce, you got the prize. It's, it's, it's not attainable because you have a lot of different players. You have a lot of voices. You have a lot of conquer and conquest. You got a lot of people interference and people have something to say. Yeah, it's that type of unattainable, you know, because maybe they can get your attention, but then you might get a phone call in the middle of the night or somebody you might hook up and baby mom, baby daddy, or you might go out and think the grass is green on the other side because this is the king of wands known as the horror monger. Or then you have outside people. Mommy, maybe you finally get to that stage. Then they don't want y'all to be together. They have something to say. You know what I'm saying? Then they got to fight them off or push back or, you know? Yeah. This is, I, I could be wrong, y'all. This, if they, you don't want me, um, just free yourself. This is person want to free yourself from you. This is power one. We got power one and power two. Ooh, something came up. Knights of Swords. Oh, man. Knights of Swords upside down ain't good. They could be feeling angry and upset. They could be feeling like it's it's a it's a it's a challenge. I don't know what nice is the swords upside down. I'm asking a question. Um, I know I, I used to know. I, I think I feel like and they could they they could be feeling some kind of way. You know what I mean? I don't know if you angered this person. I don't know if you and this person had a disagreement or some kind of conflict before. Maybe they were rushing in. Maybe it's like it's too much competition. I don't want to deal with it. They're feeling some kind of way. I don't feel like they're very, very nice about it. They could be pulling their self back. He could be pulling himself back. Like I see him taking this, this outfit and his, you know, maybe he got a horse somewhere. I'm going home. Just forget it. You can have her. You can have him. I don't really care walking away like humbug. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? <laughs> maybe some choice words under their breath, you know. Fuck you. You don't appreciate a good man. Appreciate a good woman. You know what I mean? Maybe y'all have some words or some coffee. Because the nicest words is upside down. Yeah. You know how somebody get mad when you love somebody so much? Let me see if it is this person um gonna free themselves from you. All these damn wands, power one. They they they're taking a time out because maybe they're reflecting on some of the broken relationships or the successful relationships that they had, but they feel wounded. Their heart is wounded. They're broken. They they thought it was gonna be a lot easier. Like I I would say. To me, if this was me, love got, love has to be more easier than this. This is just too much. I got to work. Okay, I'll use me. I always use me so nobody don't get upset. I'm 56. You're talking to a 35, 37-year-old. Okay, I'm trying to keep myself nice. You're talking to somebody that look like my foot. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just making a joke. But you get what I'm saying? Like, well, damn, how do I compete with that? You know what I mean? Well, she got 10 kids. She got two kids. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? You're younger than me or you're older than me. You know what I mean? Or, you know, I got this and you don't got that. Or you want this and you want that. So it's like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Well, then, you know, but rightfully so, I'm feeling some kind of way. You know what I mean? Or I could just easily use you guys. You know what I mean? You're ambitious. You know, he or she, you know, say they want you. Next thing you know, you know, they dating some crackhead. Um, 18 plus Don Matilda her name, which I'm just making it up. It's, it's like that movie. It's like that movie where she said, how can I compete with a... um. You know, you know, um, um, that wouldn't be the right movie, though. Oh, let me switch it. When, 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 um, Keisha Polium, you know, you know, Rudy from, um, um, from, um, the Cosby Show. I don't want to write to that. When she was talking to him, he go, she knew she felt like he couldn't love her because he was already dating a beautiful lawyer, and she had it all together. And here she had the street pass, and you know, what I mean, she had been incarcerated more than one time. You know, she was hooking. Um, you get what I'm saying? But he did love her. And this is how this energy, this, you might love this man or woman, but they just don't feel like it, that it, that this 
environment that you put them in or you set them up in to be with you or to get with you is not suitable. Right now, I don't see if they're walking away. I see you guys could be in a timeout where everybody needs to reflect, think, because I feel like they are wounded. I feel like the man or woman is wounded. Y'all, these are just stories that it, it don't make it true. Just relax and have fun. The devil, they sure won't. There's an addiction here. Um, they could be obsessed with you. They could feel like you're obsessed with them. They could want to have sex with you. There's definitely lust here. There's just some, I feel some, some possessiveness. They feel like you're theirs. I don't know why. It's the devil energy. I do feel like they want to have a conversation with you. This conversation could go good and sexy and y'all can get it on. This conversation could be fiery. Maybe last time you seen them, it was fiery. Maybe they was mad. They was some pent up stuff. They are holding some something. Like this man or woman you're asking about, maybe they're holding something, you know, and what they're holding might be I love you and I care about you but you know you got too many women you got too many men or you don't see me or you didn't divorce your husband or your wife um you know what I mean or you still with your boyfriend or your girlfriend or your partner or you don't see my work or you didn't even get to know me like it's like that you know what I'm saying I don't know who this person is but I feel like they do have some pent up something and that's why I feel like they're going let me just take a break before it gets to this point the devil energy before it gets to that point and then I don't even have an opportunity with this man or woman what is this Yes, because they feel, maybe they feel like you rejected them. Um, maybe they have some regrets for falling in love with you. Because um, we're talking about them. Um, maybe they feel like they have some issues that they, they have to work on. Um, maybe they feel like you have some issues they have to work on and you weren't who they thought they were. You were. Because it's the five of cups. It could be anything. Um, maybe they regret, like I said, loving you, liking you, getting their self invested, um, caring about you. Just the five of cups. I don't know who this man or woman is, but they feel awful. And they shouldn't feel awful. This should feel good. This should feel good. You know, maybe they're thinking maybe it's just sex. Maybe it's just lust. Maybe it's just desire. Because um, this man or woman has too many choices. Maybe maybe I need to work on my self-esteem. Maybe I need to work on my self-worth. Maybe I'm dealing with some insecurities. Maybe, or maybe this person doesn't see me that way. Like, you can make this person feel a lot of different things about themselves, right? But then they pay, make them pay attention to the two cups. Maybe this man or woman did their healing. And they really shouldn't get involved with a, a, a person like you. Maybe they feel like that. Maybe they feel bad because they did. I got to give you one more card. Does this man or woman love this person at least? I feel like they're confident in their own skin. They're confident whether they're plus size or skinny or white, black, purple, green, brown, whatever. They're confident in their own skin and they're very settled. I think they feel bad that they got their self in this type of thing where they ask themselves, should I um, let this go? Free myself from this, right? And it's hurting them. Yeah. They might feel like you guys make a great team, right? You know what I'm saying? And it could be festive if you could work together, build together, but that's two people investing, communicating, cooperating, working together, bringing their A game. Um, you know what I mean? Evaluate each other, um, pay attention to each other, see each other, not through each other. Remember, I told you how I seen this person walk right past me and didn't even see me. You know what I mean? I'm like, damn. You know what I mean? And I feel like this is how this person, this is how this man or woman feels. Let me give you one more. God, why does want to come out? It's just, it's overwhelming for me. It's a burden. But they, they, look at all these raw wands of stab. Make sure you look that up. They definitely desire you. They definitely would like to be with you. It's a lot. It's a lot. Like, if this was me, I'm like, dang. I would have to just, like, ugh. You know, like, ugh. But then I see this man is fine as hell. <laughs> Ooh, it's just as fine as hell. But I'm not going to just get him like that. Yeah, they're very perseverance. They're pushing through. Yeah, let me tell you the meaning of this card real quick. Just picture the dark ages and you got your babies and it's dark, there's no light, there's no welfare system, there's no um garden angels on the um uh, on the train in Brooklyn or whatever, in the Bronx, whatever. Bronx trying to um defend and help you. You gotta push and you got your babies and you gotta get in before it get dark. Because when it get dark, it's dark, right? That's how much energy they feel like to get to get you. And you got three babies too, and you if you if it get dark, you can't see them in the night. So it's a real challenge to be with you and be anything else you want them to know. It's a real challenge. I don't know if they freed their... So yeah, see, they do want commitment. They do want commitment, but you could be committed to somebody else. It could be your work environment or somebody else. Anything else? Why are you going to pay attention to this? This person might reconcile with you and come back to you, but I, I... I don't know. Maybe that's what they're hoping you do. Let me see. I never read that card that way. Will this person free themselves from this person? Ooh, this came upside down. Not if you're not going to cooperate... 
and collaborate and communicate and get to know them and, and appreciate their work. Remember I gave you that example, how the person walked past me and didn't see me. You know what I mean? And then it's like, you know, maybe this person didn't pay attention to you. You know what I mean? I watched the person, right? You know what I mean? Dang, walk right past me. I'm like, damn. You know what I mean? But the person could have been preoccupied. So that's a good example. They could have been getting ready to go. She, she or he could have been ready to speak to somebody. Or maybe they seen somebody else or something like that. But I guess you feel like as a man or woman, you know, am I attractive enough where somebody might see me? You, you get what I'm saying? That's a good example, right? So just picture yourself. You in the room, you looking nice, and this person walked right past you. Like, you didn't even recognize me. You didn't even see me. And so this is how this person feels. Actually, a really good example. Three of Pentacles came upside down. If this person is not trying to work with you, try to get to know you, try to value you as a man or woman, yeah, they might not want to free themselves. I mean, they might they might think about freeing themselves. Let me see. They're doing a lot of thinking. Let me give you this so we can... Let me give you an example. Does this person want to free themselves from you? They thinking about it. They use y'all no contact. I don't see any cups. I don't see any love. I see a lot of desire, sexual appeal, conquer and conquest. Let's work together to be a team, a good power team. Um, does this person want to free themselves from power one? Oh. Justice. This person wants some get back. <laughs> This person feel like you owe them a sincere apology. Maybe they feel like you did them wrong. This is talks about karma. Maybe they feel like you didn't do them right. And they don't know. They don't know. This is justice card. I don't know if you owe some karma dad. They feel like you owe them a sincere apology. You need to balance the scale. You need to ask for some forgiveness. The scales are not balanced. It's like a one-sided relationship. They don't know. They don't know. There's, is she standing on the swords? Maybe they want to communicate effectively the right way. Yeah, they want some justice. What's going on with you and this man or woman? Do they want to free themselves? Nine of Wands again. This causes this man, Nine of Wands again. Remember how I told you, I gave you an example of how the dark age is pushing through. It's a perseverance card, but look at the imagery. It's different. For one minute, this person feel optimistic, and next thing you know, they're going down, 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 down. So they just feel like there's no hope. There's no hope. I, I, I'm trying to let this man or woman see my worth or work on it. Because it could be your husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend. It could be a crush, or, um, you know, you know, one night stand, significant other. I I, I, I don't care. It's too many. Um, online, you know, or whatever. But it's, it's it seems like it's taking more from them. Like I said, love shouldn't it should it shouldn't be this difficult. I don't see any um. I don't see any um, cups. I see men and women who are very attractive. Power one and. They would like to put. They would like to be able to could, to get into the game to win the prince and the prince's heart, but they don't want to compete. But this is the how it's set up, right? They're not competitors in that way. Not for somebody's heart. Yeah, that makes sense. Thank you, anxious. But you make them have to compete for your heart, and it shouldn't be like that. It should be organic. It should be natural, right? But in your life, maybe your life is set up like that. Do they want to um, free themselves from this man or woman? Power one. Somebody could be from Chicago. For the city. Do they want to free themselves? Five of hazard again. It's causing them some conflict. Mental conflict. Some anxiety. I don't want to read that card because it's not how I'm asking them. Eight of swords. It's, they're overwhelmed. Did I say that? Oh my gosh, they're overwhelmed. They're contemplating. It's complicated. It's complicated. I just did one on why do they um you so, they still in love with this man or woman? You could be not you. The person you're asking about could be very much drawn to that collective. They don't know what it is. It's like a no-win situation. Maybe they feel like they're being victimized. It's a lack of action, maybe on your part or their part. They're overwhelmed. They don't know what to do. One minute they feel optimistic. One minute they feel fearful. One minute they feel courageous. One minute they're at the crossroads. They don't know what to do. They don't know what to do. Let me give them one more card. Yeah, look at that. They're overwhelmed. One minute he's sheltered from the um from the zombies. These zombies cards. He's sheltered from the zombie card, so I'm safe. But then the next minute he realized he's in a giant zombie um skeleton case. So I got to get the hell out of here. Oh, but the zombies might eat me, and I'm more protected here. Oh, I better get out of here because this is zombie's body. They might want to, you know. I'm just making up. You get what I'm saying? They don't know. It's a no win situation. They feel overwhelmed. I'll give you the last card for these. You don't get no answer. I can't help you. Shit. Five of swords. Y'all could be bickering. Y'all could be in conflict. Y'all could have separate the ties. It could be some resentment, some trouble brewing. You know what I mean? They could feel defeated. 
I said that because that nicest words came upside down. It, it's like an impossible. It's like, oh, uh, you know what I mean? Why, why do I love her? Why do I love him? Or why do I like them? Why do I want to be with them? It's, it's just too much. They're not easy. They don't flow. Look. They got to go against other people. They got to compete. This is challenges. It's a disadvantage. It's a confusion. It's, it's chaos. It's ups and downs. It's disappointment. Maybe you guys aren't speaking. So it's like, huh? Ah. I'm going to give y'all one more because I'm nosy. They didn't want to true with cards. Does this person want to free herself? They don't, they're at the crossroads. It's complicated. They're overwhelmed. I got overwhelmed in about four cards. Yeah. Anything else? Moon. If they love you, you wouldn't know it. That's gonna say that. Secrets, deception, intuition. Pay attention to your dreams. You could be dreaming about this person. They could be dreaming about um, you. I had dreamt about keys all night. I meant to look that up. Yeah. Um, it says, um, you, um, yeah. Um, and I don't know why. Maybe key. Y'all may want to look up keys. I'm saying it. Oh, this is a big old key too. I dreamt about keys. Last night. If they do, they wouldn't tell you. They wouldn't tell you. And, and I don't blame them, rightfully so, because they lose their position. Because if they, if they, if they try to love you and like you and care about you and want a relationship, and you got different people or your life is set up in a different way, it makes them look like that they're begging and they're chasing or they're the one more invested. But if they pull back and they don't show you that they love and care about you, and maybe they want you to talk to them and, and text, and y'all be calm and not this. Um, you know, not being, I'm, I'm not saying you're fussing and, and stuff because you're grown, but the disagreements and the uncomfortable energy and stuff like that, you know what I mean? Maybe they, maybe they feel like, maybe they should, because in, then if it's a beautiful relationship that can happen together, you won't never know until you take the chance. So I feel like the deception from them and the intuition is to keep it to their self. You know what I mean? Like it's my little secret, you know, I can't, I'm not going to be able to answer that. Let's see the truth card. I doubt maybe the truth. I don't know. Does this person want to, um. Free day cell. This is going to be an hour video. I should have put them on two. I guess I could. Shit. I guess I'll put them on two. Does this person... I guess we'll go ahead and put them on two. Does this person want to free their cell? From the people who chose power one. Does this person want to free their cell? Good God. I just wanted to... I feel like they're moving away. Some of them could be moving to another state. I feel like they're trying to move on or they want to get away from you as fast as they can. Is this person I want to free themselves? They they're really trying really hard. They plan someone was planning on moving to another state. I'm hearing that. I don't know why I hear that. Maybe they take another job, maybe you work with this person, maybe they go into another gym. Maybe they're moving on to somebody else, or they just want to move away from this whole thing. Maybe it's just causing them a lot of conflict. Somebody's birthday can be 7, 14, 21, 28, 6, 13. Yeah. Is this person um want to free themselves from you? This, this shit is complicated. Come on, power one. Maybe if they had dreams of being having a family with you, they they just this came upside down. They just don't feel it. They don't feel it. This this is like a no hope shit. Does this person want to free themselves? It's like a no hope. I don't see no. You definitely a temptation. Well, we, we covered that, right? We said that. I said that repeatedly. Anything else? Does this person want to free themselves from you? They feel like it's an illusion. You could be cold to them. They could be cold to you. They feel like they bit the apple. It's just an illusion. It's not really real. It's not going anywhere. Um, you could be giving them the silent treatment. They could be giving you the silent treatment. The energy is just foul. It's an illusion. They, they can't. They can't see. They don't. They don't. They don't know. Give you two more. Does this person want to free themselves from you? I don't see any type of love because I think as men and women, your life is complicated. And they just don't feel like they fit in, and they feel like maybe this is an illusion. Maybe they plan on trying to get away. When I say move, they don't have to move to another state or leave a job, something like that. But they're just really trying to distance themselves. But y'all wouldn't be surprised if y'all have minimum com um, communication or none at all. Is this person? Family orientated, family. They could consider y'all have kids together, a family together. They could want a family with you, and maybe they feel like you already have a family. I don't know. Or they dream of having a family with you. It don't have to be a baby. It could be birth, birth ideas, businesses like that. My last card. I'm going on my sabbatical. I've been saying that for four years, and they took one. They want you though. 
Well, we know they want you. They want you sexually. They think you're a temptation. You're their preference. Um, they would love to be able to have you. We know they want you. Give you one more. Anything else? We know they want you. Friendship. But they think you're sneaky as hell. They think you're sneaky, power one. They think you're sneaky. They want you. They think you're sneaky. And get your last card. What's the essence of this, ancients? What's the essence of this? They think you're sneaky. Well, it's, I, well, I said this. They think that they are in the shadow, paying attention. And they want to date. They definitely want to date. They feel like you trigger them. Maybe y'all trigger each other. Somebody say something, get somebody mad, they get explosive. You get them mad, they get explosive. It's supposed to trigger your behaviors or, you know, you know, check some things. Maybe they feel like every time they talk to you, you get triggered or something like that. But they definitely want to date. They're definitely in the shadows. Maybe they feel like they have some inner childhood wounds that they still need to heal. Or maybe they feel like you need to do some shadow work. Don't she watch she having a conversation? Look, you need to do some shadow work because you got too many players in this game, too many um, miles, too many opinions, and we can't get together. And then you you always getting triggered because I'm an independent person. You think I'm friends with benefits. No, sir. Yeah, I want sex. It seems like that's all you want is sex, but they do want to reconcile with you, right? But then they can feel like you have some kind of obsession, um, some, some kind of addictions, or you have other people obsessed with you, but they do want to reconcile with you. I keep saying that, but they because they feel like you're in high vibration. They're in solitude. They think and they're trying to figure it out what they need to do now. Maybe they feel like you tell them lies. They would love for you to propose to them, but then they had to walk away because they have to get into their own skin. I think you guys going through a lot of conflict. This person wants you to give them a message or you give them a message. They feel like you could be immature. They feel like you got a lot of toxic, crazy um, attachments and they're feeling really um, whole. They feel like you be cheating. You're very deceptive. Men and women, they feel like you need to have some changes. They feel like you have a lot of options, a lot of decisions. We picked that up. Some healing needs to be done. They feel like you're, you're afraid to love them and, and take a chance on them in this relationship or go back to them. And y'all could be on a break and they feel like you owe them a, a serious apology because they know that you really love them. But they're not going to say it before you do. Even if you've been with this person um, or not or, or haven't even met this person. Because they feel like you're a cold, um, you're non-committal and you could be in a codependent um, relationships right now. They don't want to be a part of that. You could be empty-handed. You could have a lot of responsibilities. They could be empty-handed. But what they do know, there you go. They love you. It's unconditionally. And this is a twin flame. And there's intimacy. And you could be focusing on them and they could be focusing on the money and they're determined, but they go that contemplation again. Yes, this they do love you. I get it. They do love you. It's unconditional. It's a it's a very it's a hard game. Um, they, they and I get it. They have to be very really be careful. That's why they're in solitude. These men and women they have to really think about this. And it's a high vibration, but it has to. It can't be no lies. It can't be no deceit. It can't be sneaky. It can't be third parties. It can't be that. It has to be founded on high vibration and shit, not that low vibration. And shit. So this man or woman has to go into solitude, but they do want to reconcile with you, and they do have unconditional love. But they're contemplating: should they tell you? Should they stay? Should they leave? They don't know what to do, but they're determined to figure this shit out. Later.